Chapter 4, Section 1, Cross-Sectional Slices. In this video, we're going to review how to adjust the sectional views and also identifying the difference between interval and thickness, which can be accessed by right-clicking on the axial view and specifically on the sectional lines as indicated in the upper right-hand corner of the curve window. In this section, we will continue working in our pan curve window and specifically working in our sectional views to not only be able to adjust the layout as far as the number of sectional views, but more importantly, being able to adjust the physical distance between these sectional views as well as the amount of anatomy that we're seeing in each sectional view. You'll note in the upper right hand corner of each sectional window is a number that identifies the sectional number such as 65, 66, 67, and 68. The box that we see around number 68 identifies the vertical line that we see in our 2D panorama reconstruction in the bottom of the window as well as the orange line we see here near the anterior region of the arch in our axial view. In order to verify and perhaps change the physical distance between these sectional views and or being able to adjust the amount of anatomy that we're seeing in each sectional view, simply position the mouse on top of the sectional lines in the sectional window itself, right click, and you'll see then a drop down menu of options to choose from. The interval option allows us to establish the physical distance between these sectional views. As indicated here, there is a check mark next to one millimeter that identifies the physical distance as being one millimeter for each of these sectional views. As an example, if we select five millimeters, you notice that the spacing now has grown from one millimeter to five millimeters. So the physical distance between number 12 and number 13 is now a five millimeter distance. However, the physical amount of anatomy that we're seeing each one of these sectional views has not changed. There is a separate variable for that which is accessed again by right clicking the mouse, hovering the mouse over thickness, and this then verifies the physical amount of anatomy that we are seeing each one of these sectional windows. In this case here we're viewing one millimeter of anatomy or one half of one millimeter on either side of the sectional lines that gives us the quantity of anatomy that we see each one of these sectional views. The basic protocol that we typically follow is to set the interval and thickness the same. If I have my thickness at one millimeter but my interval is set at five millimeter I'm then skipping four millimeters of anatomy between each of these sectional views. So in this case if we want to keep our thickness at one millimeter we recommend keeping the interval also at one millimeter. At this point, it's encouraged to stop this video and then open the Easy 3D software to make the manipulation changes such as changing your interval as well as thickness.